biology generally. In uh, primary school, you talked about science. Uh, science in secondary school now is broadened. Uh, when I talk about being broadened, is that we have other subject that falls under science. Like, for instance, we have biology, that is our main concern as far as the secondary school syllabus is concerned. So we have the biology as a subject, and it is part of science. Are we in agreement? Yes. Now, biology, just like any other subject, biology was derived from two Greek words. Two Greek words. Who can name for me one of the words that biology was derived from? Yes? We have the bios. Uh, the other one? Yes? Then we have the logos. These terms, they are Greek words that biology was derived from. Bios means, yes? Uh, means life. What about logos? Yes? We have logos means knowledge. We have knowledge. Now, those are the terms. Apart from that, now, we have living organisms. Living organism may be characteristic you talked about in primary school. They move, they breathe. But here in secondary school, we'll be talking about advanced uh, terms. Like they breathe, we'll be talking about gaseous exchange. Just to mention a few. Sawa sawa. Now, biology, the definition, after having looked at uh, the terms they were derived from, then we want to look at uh, the definition of the term biology. Though it was derived from Greek words, the bios and the logos, meaning life and knowledge. But now what is the definition of biology? What is the definition of biology? Yes? Correct. Scientific study of living organism. Scientific study of living organism. That is what biology means. It's the scientific study of living organism. Apart from that, remember we've looked at the terms and the definition. Now we have branches of biology and these branches are grouped into main branches and minor branches. So we have the main branches. Main branches. We have the main branches of biology. Like even if you look at a tree, we have the main stem and we have branches. Then we have some main branches and minor branches originating from the main branches. So what are these main branches of biology? Yes? We have botany. Yes? Then we have zoology. Yes? Then we have uh, microbiology. I want you to prepare yourself and tell me uh, the definition of each branch. The definition of each branch. We have the main branch. I say it, the branches are further categorized into two. We have the main branches and minor branches. So the main branches are the botany, zoology, and microbiology. Then what is the definition of the term botany? Yes? It's a branch of science that deals with the study of plants. That deals with the study of plants. What about zoology? Yes? Branch of science that deals with the study of animals. We deal with the study of animals. Then we have the last one forming the last main branch of biology known as microbiology. Can someone tell us the... Yes? Branch of biology that deals with the study of microscopic organisms. Small organism, microscopic organism, micro 
scopic organism. Initially, uh, initially back there when I was in Form 1, we were only introduced to two main branches. That is the botany and zoology. But as further study are going on, now we have another main branch known as microbiology, which simply means the study of microscopic organism. As I stated at first, I say these are the main branches. Then apart from the main branches, we have minor branches. We have minor branches. So the minor branches, I should be seeing the ant are for you to tell me some of the minor branches. We just list them down and give their definition, yes? We have the genetics, which is the study of inheritance and variation. Yes, now you give me a minor branch and you give me the definition of that minor branch, yes? Ecology. Study of living things and their surrounding, correct? Yes? We have entomology. Study of insects. Study of insects. Very good. Yes? We have cytology. Cytology. The study of cells. The study of cells. Yes? 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 Mycology. Mycology. What is mycology? The study of fungi. The study of fungi. Are you? Yes? The second one? Yes? We have parasitology. Parasitology. The study of? The study of parasites. Yes, we are naming the minor branches are very many. The minor branches of biology are very many. Yes, are the corner. We have physiology, yes. Physiology, which is the study of body function. So a good student will actually understand these minor branches. In exam, we'll simply ask you to give us the minor branches. Or we ask you to define the minor branches. Apart from that, we can also give you the definition of a given branch and we ask you to identify that branch that we've explained or we've defined. For example, we can say, give the branch of science that deals with the following. Roman 1, study of fungi. That one comes to be mycology. Study of parasite, that is parasitology. Are we in agreement? So that is how you can meet some of those particular questions. So, so far, we have the main branches of biology, which are three, and then the minor branches are very many. If I start writing, this board will be full if I'm just giving the minor branches. Are we in agreement? Then away from the branches, we are going to the importance of studying biology. Importance of studying biology. What are the importance? The significance. Why do we study the biology in high school? Yes? It's a career subject. That was the first one I was expecting. It's a career, a career subject. It's a career subject. Now, that one is incomplete. According to me, that one is incomplete. Though the point is correct, but you've not named for us the career in which the study of biology can lead you into. So you say it's a career subject such as, yes? Medicine. Yes, a teacher of biology. Teaching, not a teacher of biology. A teacher of biology is something else. Say teaching. That is the profession we are talking about. Are we together? Yes. We have several careers that when you study biology, you can go and do. Maybe when you go to university or you go to colleges or tertiary institution. Then another importance of biology. Yes? The developmental stages of human body. It enables one to understand 
the developmental stages in human body. For instance, the way you were born, remember it was the sperm that fuses with the ovum to form a diploid zygote. The zygote will move to form maybe an embryo, an embryo further to a baby. So the developmental stages, you will understand them better when you are studying biology. Any other? Any other importance? Yes? You acquire scientific skills when you are studying biology, like drawing, analyzing, measuring. So the acquisition of this scientific skill, we only get them when we study biology. So those are some of the importance of studying biology. Career subject, understanding the developmental stages in human beings. Uh, it also impacts us with some skill. Then again, another one that you are forgetting is that this biology help us to solve international the problems like the drought, like the food shortage, the poor health that we might be having. When we uh, take biology, we read biology deeply, then we'll be capable of actually understanding ways of solving the environmental problems. Are we in agreement? Yes. From there, we are moving to characteristic of living organisms characteristic of living organism. If you can recall well, when I was starting, I said, there are some characteristics of living organism. In primary school, you are talking about they breathe, they move, they die. Those are things that you are talking about. Now, but here, in secondary school level, now we have a broad term that means a given characteristic. For instance, we'll be talking about nutrition. We'll be talking about nutrition. This is a characteristic of living organism. Then we'll also be talking about something gaseous exchange. Gaseous exchange. Remember this characteristic help you to distinguish between living organism and non-living organism. We said biology is the study of living organism. Or simply you can say Biology is the study of life. So, being that biology is the study of living organism, what are the characteristics of living organism that will distinguish living organism from non-living organism? The first one is nutrition. Their ability to search for nutrients and utilize them. They have to look for the nutrients and they utilize them. Are we in agreement? Yes. The plants. The roots are spreading deep into the soil to absorb water and mineral salt that they are going to use. Look at their leaves carrying out the process of photosynthesis. That will make the food that they are going to use. We have gaseous exchange, a characteristic of a living organism. What does it mean? The exchange of gases, respiratory gases across the respiratory surface. And if you talk about respiratory surface, we look at uh, maybe in human beings, we can talk about the alveoli or maybe the lungs. So that is gaseous exchange. I've given you two characteristics. Can you now give me the remaining ones? Yes? We have excretion. Excretion. Any other? Yes? Reproduction. Reproduction, let us name them. Yes? Movement. Movement, correct? We have movement. Any other? Yes? Yes? No, that is not a characteristic. Yes? Growth and development. Growth and uh, development. Yes? Irritability. Irritability, irritability, any other? Uh, respiration, good. Respiration, is there one that is remaining? Uh, we've actually exhausted all of them because I talked about nutrition, gases exchange, expression, reproduction, movement, growth and development, irritability, and respiration. 
we need to know their definition too, not just naming them. We need to know their definition too. For instance, if you talk about uh, movement, movement, the change in position either by the whole body of an organism or part of an organism. For instance, I'm moving my hand. That is part of me moving, but it is movement. Someone said locomotion. Now locomotion is the movement of the whole body of the organism. The change in position of the whole body of an organism. So if I move from this point to another point, that one I've done what is called locomotion. Are we in agreement? Now, if you go to reproduction, it's the process by which living organism give rise to individuals of the same kind. That is reproduction. Then uh, irritability, ability of the organism to perceive changes within the environment. That forms what we call uh, irritability. Now, these are the characteristics. If you look at an unliving organism, like the stone, which is an unliving organism, it cannot move, it cannot excrete, it cannot respire, things like that. So this characteristic will enable you to distinguish between living organism and non-living organisms. Let me wind very fast because I want us to finish up uh, this uh, process of uh, Topic one, and uh, uh, we'll be talking about the collection of the specimen and also the apparatus used in the collection of the specimen. I just want to wind up at that particular point, but in our next lesson, we'll be looking at the collection of the specimen, the apparatus we are using in the collection of the specimen, the comparison between plants and animals, the comparison between plants and animals. So in this our lesson so far, what have we learned? We've learned that biology as a word was derived from two Greek words, that is the bios and logos. Bio means life, logos means knowledge. We've also said that uh, biology, the definition of biology simply means a branch of science that deals with the study of living organism. Then we've also looked at the importance of biology, and the first one is a career subject. When you do biology, you will be able to select some careers such as uh, medicine. Then we've looked at the branches of biology, minor branches and major branches. The major branches, the major branches are three, botany, zoology, and microbiology. Minor branches are very many. Minor branches are very many. So we have cytology, which is the study of cell, entomology, which is the study of insect, uh, ecology, which is the study of living organism and their surrounding. Then uh, we've looked at characteristic of living organism, whereby I've named almost all of them and their definition. And I think that will mark the end of our lesson today. I want to give you an exercise and uh, I want you to go and look at your own free time. Define the term biology. The second one, give the branches of biology. Give branches of biology. The third one, state two importance of studying biology. State two importance of studying biology. And the last one, giving definition List five characteristics of living organism. List five characteristics of living organism. That marks the end.